Snakes are long, slithery, and sneaky, with vicious fangs to boot. There's no denying they're kind of terrifying, but that doesn't mean they're the toughest customers in the animal kingdom. There are actually some animals that could bear them in a tussle. These are animals that could defeat a python. Number 15. Shark Defeats Python yeah, I know how weird it sounds to suggest that a shark would defeat and eat a python, but sharks have a surprisingly varied diet. It's not just fish and people and B-movies. Actually, sharks will eat just about anything that has meat, so a python would definitely be at risk. Obviously, this unusual matchup also depends, to some extent, on the species of shark and their diet. However, just about all sharks are adaptable. While some sharks may prefer to eat certain types of prey, they have no choice but to adjust whenever the prey isn't available for whatever reason. You know where I'm going with this. If a shark gets a hold of a snake, it will devour that snake without much thought. And the python, for all its many capabilities, couldn't really do much to take down a full-sized shark. This is a fight that would be over before it really began. Obviously, a python win is not impossible, but it's unlikely because the python would have to stop the shark from swimming to knock the big guy out. And that's pretty hard to do. So I guess round one goes to the shark. I guess it's not safe to go back into the water just yet. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the juicy topic. The Komodo dragon is a fascinating animal, but would one win or lose in a brawl with a python? Really, it comes down to the size. Given how fast the reflexes of a python are, if one was particularly large, let's say 10 meters in length, it could probably wrap around the Komodo dragon in a millisecond, preventing it from breathing. But if the dragon struck first, its sheer strength and viciousness would mean it might just hold its own and defeat the python. The dragon's real trick, though, is its bite. Not only is it strong, but there's actually bacteria in the saliva of a Komodo dragon that infects its bitten victims and slowly kills them over a number of days. So even if the snake did get in the first strike and wrap around the dragon, so long as the dragon got one bite in, the python would be dead within a few days. As always, comment down below with the hashtag JuicyTopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. Let's move on to the next one. Number 14, Eagle. Obviously, the eagle has some advantages that a python doesn't. It can fly, giving it the benefit of a bird's eye view and the option to fly away. It has razor-sharp talons, capable of crushing a snake's spine and... Look, it's not looking good for the snake. Let's just say that. A snake has certain advantages that an eagle does not. It may have venom or apply a tremendous amount of pressure to the point of death. The possibilities are endless, but an eagle can fly and that's a massive advantage in any fight with a land animal. The eagle can spot the snake from the air, swoop down, grab it, smash its spine in with its claws, and even decapitate the snake in a matter of seconds. This isn't even a fight, it's a total foregone conclusion. The eagle would win. Eagles and snakes get into fights more than you might think. but it's rarely close. The eagle is just given a genetic boost in this particular fight that the snake can't even hope to match. It may as well just surrender itself. Although it has no arms, so it can't wave a white flag, maybe it can just... wave itself? Number 13. Porcupine. Did you know that the porcupine is known as quill pig in Latin? The more you know, right? There are over 24 porcupine species, all of which have that uniquely spiky coat. But that doesn't stop these animals from being attacked. Snake versus porcupine. 
who will win. I don't know how common a porcupine slash snake fight would be in the wild, but I can tell you that the winner would depend entirely upon the circumstances. If the snake could surprise or otherwise overwhelm the porcupine, the fight would be over in seconds. If, however, the porcupine was aware and ready to fight, the spiky little guy can fight and win without much contest. In fact, the porcupine will likely win, even if it loses, because those quills don't digest so well inside the snake's belly, and once those internal organs are pierced, the snake is pretty much done. The snake slash porcupine battle is a strange one, that's for sure, but it's fascinating to see that such a curious animal could easily overwhelm and beat one of the most formidable predators in our natural world. I guess animals really do do the darndest things. Number 12. Alligator Easily one of the least surprising things I've ever said, an alligator could take down a snake. I know, who'd have thought it, right? It's difficult to take on an alligator and come out on top, even when you have a python's predatorial skill. This is actually a relatively common matchup, as alligators and pythons tend to thrive in similar conditions. If the python was big enough, he'd probably have a shot at winning the fight, but in the case of this video, that was never gonna happen. As soon as the alligator got a hold of the python, the fight was pretty much over. The alligator's killing tactics are so violent that very few animals actually survive the ordeal. After grabbing the snake, the gator drags it into its swampy waters before it starts violently thrashing, killing the snake and winning the battle in the flashiest of ways. Alligators are fierce, terrifying predators who rarely lose a fight. If they get into a close one-on-one -on -one battle, the odds are stacked in the gator's favor. No amount of snake-like charm could possibly beat an animal so violent and aggressive in its approach. Number 11. Leopard who truly wins in a fight between a leopard and a python? The internet, apparently. The video we're about to see went viral pretty much immediately after it uploaded. Because, wouldn't you know it, people are fascinated by fights in the natural world. While vacationing in South Africa, a family spotted an incredible fight between a leopard and a python. at a nearby national park. After the leopard gets a close look at this mysteriously long animal, it decides to attack. The python immediately retreats, only to launch itself at the leopard when it returns. Unfortunately, the leopard gets a good bite of the python and refuses to let go, dragging the slithery little guy all over. Eventually, the leopard allows the python to run free, but I think it's pretty clear who won this battle. And it wasn't old Slinky. The leopard won this fight. I mean, it could have ripped the python apart if it really wanted to. But, much like the great fighters before it, the leopard realized that the violent path is not always the easy, uh, who am I kidding? The leopard just got bored. Number 10. Honey Badger if you don't know anything about the honey badger, you'll probably be pretty confused about why this seemingly adorable animal is on the list. But prepare to be surprised because the honey badger isn't cute or friendly. It's actually one of the most dangerous animals you could encounter, which is a lesson the python has to learn. many, many times. The honey badger is a carnivore with an extremely open diet, including everything from scorpions and rodents to crocodiles and, yes, pythons. Even though they're pretty small and they hunt alone, they're not afraid of anything and will often instigate the fight with their chosen prey. It's incredibly common for a honey badger to not only fight with a python, but to kill them. Seriously, there are many videos online of the honey badger taking on animals significantly larger and winning. Never underestimate the honey badger. This is yet another example of a predator that should not be underestimated. Sure, it might have a slightly smaller size, but it's dangerous and it's fearless. And that's terrible news for the python. Even if it had honey, it still won't end well. This isn't a Winnie the Pooh attack. Number 9. Black Panther Yeah, they once had a big python problem in Wakanda, until 
Well, you know what happened there. But in the natural world, the real-life Black Panther is just as deadly toward those fearsome snakes. Actually, they're more terrifying than any Wakandan prince could ever be. The Black Panther is often referred to as the Ghost of the Forest, thanks to its legendarily stealthy hunting approach. With their good hearing, exceptional eyesight, and strong jaw, they're in a very unique position to locate the snake and take it out in a matter of seconds. If the snake doesn't notice the Black Panther sitting in the tree, well, it's going to be K-I-S-S-I-N-G-ing the ground when the panther wipes the floor with it. It's an unfortunate way to go, but it made for a half-decent joke. So, small victories, right? In this fight, the python had no chance of winning. The black panther will always have the upper hand over the snake, and its silent approach gives it yet another advantage. Wakanda forever, python never. That's what I imagine the panther would say after the incident. Number 8. Killer Bees Killer bees are a lot like criminals in Hollywood movies. Everything is all good and peachy so long as nobody moves. But here's the thing. If you put a bunch of killer bees in close proximity with a python, you're gonna get some movement. And then comes the fight. Killer bees generally tend to be very tolerant of other animals, so long as they remain totally calm. If the animal in question makes a sharp movement, such as striking, running, or anything else that is sudden, it's pretty much open season for the little guys. The killer bees will launch a furious and overwhelming attack on the snake until eventually the victim receives so many stings that the inevitable fatality will occur. It turns out that size truly isn't the most important thing in a wildlife fight. It's all about overwhelming the opponent until they just die. It's what life does to all of us. Sorry, went a bit grim there. In a fight between a python and an army of killer bees, there's no contest. The python can resist for a while, but it's always going to end the same way. And that's not with a candlelit meal and a honey cake. Number 7. Crocodile Sure, the python lost to the alligator, but maybe it'll triumph over the crocodile? Well, I got news for ya, no. The python may be a deadly and capable predator in its own right, but the crocodile… it knows what it's doing, buddy. Much like alligators, crocodiles, and pythons are a well-matched pair of opponents. But you have to accept the truth. It takes a lot of manpower to truly overwhelm and subdue a crocodile. And not every animal can live up to that. In the case of the python, it's just a very sad, unfortunate story. As soon as the croc gets the python in its jaws, the fight may as well be over. There's no coming out of that. Much like the alligator, the crocodile uses its power to thrash and violently shake the snake until the slithery little guy eventually just gives up entirely. The python is just no match for a croc or a gator. These are big animals and they will do whatever it takes to win. Or in this case, whatever it takes to kill the python entirely. And I bet the croc had fun doing it. Number 6. Indigo Snake So we're finally here. A snake on snake fight. Although I guess the indigo snake isn't just any old snake, it's basically an apex predator. One that would scare even the biggest and deadliest snakes in the world, including of course the python. The eastern indigo snake is by far one of the most dangerous snakes of all. Partially because of its diverse diet. This carnivorous snake is the longest native snake in all of Native America, and it preys upon a lot of different animals, including some venomous snakes. All this just reaffirms that the python doesn't stand much of a chance in this particular fight. The eastern indigo can reach up to 9 feet in length and weigh up to 11 pounds, making for one pretty frightening specimen of a snake. So yeah, the eastern indigo could definitely take on, and take down, a python. It's kinda strange to say, but I feel kind of bad for the poor python that ends up taking on the eastern indigo. They just don't know what they're getting into. You'll never win. Sorry, bud. Number 5. Jackal 
I don't think we, as a society, talk enough about jackals. These wild dogs are fascinating, not as adorable as foxes, but not as violently terrifying as hyenas. But there's one animal that does find the jackal terrifying, the python. This video showcases an unusual encounter between a python, a honey badger, and a jackal. And it may help us understand if a jackal could win a fight with a python. Initially, the jackal takes the smart strategy in the fight, allowing the badger to do all of the hard work, subduing the python before finally giving in. With the help of a buddy, the jackal starts sniffing around the snake's slowly loosening body before using it to play tug-of-war with the honey badger. Because what else can a hungry animal do with an almost dead snake, right? I'm not sure taxidermy is a thing in the animal kingdom. I think the jackal won this round. The jackal is an interesting animal for many reasons, but this particular encounter is most unusual. How often do you get to see a jackal and a honey badger play tug-of-war with a snake corpse? Not very often. Number 4. Hyena and finally, we come to the notorious hyena, one of many animals in the world who kills with glee. So much glee, in fact, that they're constantly laughing about the whole thing. So yeah, of course they could take down a python. They live for this kind of thing. This spotted hyena happened to encounter an African rock python while out exploring the wilderness. Naturally, her instinct was to try and kill it, but the python isn't going to roll over and accept death because... Well, why the heck would it? Soon the hyena and the python are locked in a back and forth battle over who will triumph. In this case, the hyena puts up a good fight before, eventually giving up and wandering away. But I think this video clearly shows that a hyena definitely has a higher chance of winning a battle with a python. It's all about circumstances. Look, you don't mess with a hyena. You just don't. These guys kill for fun. It's really no use taking them on unless you have a small army with you. Although apparently you can survive if they get bored. Better start memorizing Wikipedia pages. Number 3. King Cobra if you're thinking that a snake-on-snake -snake fight would be pretty evenly matched, you're wrong. The python actually has something of a disadvantage against a snake like the king cobra because, well, it's not venomous. Pythons kill by asphyxiation, strangling their victim to death. The cobra kills by... poisoning. Bad luck, python. Genetics have blessed the king cobra with a large sack of neurotoxic venom, making him a force to be reckoned with in the natural world. While it might not be the most potent or the most deadly, the sheer quantity of poison within this sack is more than enough to kill the python in less than half an hour. The python, meanwhile, needs to somehow wrap itself around the cobra and strangle it to death. And let's be honest, unless the python can somehow ambush the cobra, that's probably not going to happen. In the case of this fight, the odds are pretty heavily stacked in the cobra's favor. Still, the python could theoretically win if it ambushed the cobra. It's just not very likely is all. Again, bad luck, Monty. Number 2. Lion the lion is the king of the jungle for a reason. It's not the kind of animal who's just going to roll over and accept death by some little slithery thing. However, it's more likely that the python would encounter a lioness and, well, that's probably worse. If a python encountered a lioness on the hunt, the smart money would be on the lion. Again, the python's only route to winning is to wrap itself around the lion and tighten until the lion suffocates. However, the lion is fast, agile, and has a pretty strong bite. Even if the python was able to wrap itself around the lion, that lion would still probably break free and tear the snake apart. It'd be less of a fight and more of a free, voluntary meal. Great for the lion, but a suicide mission for the python. So, in conclusion, yeah, a lion could defeat a python.
Any other outcome would require a small miracle or a lion that's already half dead. And that would require a big stroke of luck on the part of the python. Actually, even then, I imagine the lion would have the strength to take it down. Number 1. Wild Boar we talk a lot about how mothering animals will go to extreme lengths to protect their young on this channel. Well, we have another example to add to the list because the wild boar is not an animal you want to mess with. Especially you, Mr. Python. <sighs> It may sound like a strange fight, but wild boars apparently fight an awful lot with pythons due to these snakes trying, and sometimes succeeding, to eat their young. But here's the main reason that a python will never win against a wild boar. The boar has something of an army on its side. There have been reports of a whole group of boars rushing in to rip the python apart as revenge and justice for killing their young. They're basically the Avengers, but with tusks and pig-like squeals. Iron boar, pig fury, I could go on, pork eye. The wild boar is a force to be reckoned with, and the python will never be able to survive an attack from multiple tusked pigs. Who could? You can't bring home the bacon when it's just killed you. Everyone knows that. Is there any other animal you believe could take down a python? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.